Hello everyone, it's Melanie. Um, I don't have a lot of time today, but I wanted to come on and um, kind of catch up. Um, I sort of feel like I miss you guys in your comments when I haven't made a video in a while, but I've just been kind of busy with other stuff and my daughter um, is, you know, home for the summer from, from college and uh, she has gotten to where she likes to hang out in my room with me while I'm at this desk. She likes to hang out at my other desk and play on my computer, do stuff on my computer. And I don't have the heart to kick her out, but I can't make videos when she's in here because she's listening to music and, and playing games and stuff. But I don't have the heart to kick her out because, you know, it'll only be like three weeks or four weeks and she'll be gone back to school and um, I'll be missing her. So um, she's been taking priority over my YouTube videos and a couple of other things. I've been, she has a, uh, a an event in Baltimore at the end of the month and I've been working, we've been, well, I've been working on um, a cosplay for her. Um, that's kind of complicated that I'm having to build from scratch. So um, I've been doing a lot of sewing. Um, this is a, the, the bodice of her, her outfit and it's, this has got inset panels and then all of the skirt is gonna have this inset panels and all this scrolly work and anyway, it's, I, I need to get back to this. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna make a video and and then then you'll know, oh, you know what though, once I make the video, you're gonna know that I really haven't been working on that full time because I've been playing with this for the last two days. But I'll show you something else that I've been up to. This, this is a package that I got a couple weeks ago that arrived from Italy. I ordered some things from Rachel at Roxy Creations and I kind of I opened some of these things up and sort of glanced through them but I literally have not even taken them out because well just because okay so I got um, a package of fabric fabric scraps and stuff this is another fabric pack it came with some pretty buttons and then I ordered, I ordered um, some of her straw paper, and I also ordered two of these um, antique paper paper packs. And the reason I ordered two was I thought, okay, you know what? That way, one, I can force myself to use one of them, and then I'll save the other. Then I can, you know, so I can hoard one and use one. But now that it's here, I don't want to use either of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, these papers are so old. And they're really, really cool. There's some, there's Italian, there's French, there's um, Greek, all kinds. I mean, it's so, and it's mostly text, but look at some of these pages. Look how old this is. This is, I mean, it's letterpress. It's, it's beautiful. Anyway, I haven't started using those yet. So the only thing I've used out of all this stuff that I got from Rachel, the only thing I've used so far is one sheet of straw paper. And let me put these up. So I did some collages with the straw paper. So I think you've seen all of these. These are just journaling, collage journaling cards that I've done. Well, I started doing, I did some larger ones. So I don't know if you saw these, but I also did these. They have some textile and whatnot on them. That one has some, well, it's got fabric on it and stuff too. And then these are the ones I made last week. Um, I did two with fruit that have fabric and stuff on them. 
and then I did these on the 21st that um, also have some cheesecloth and things like that on them. And so my intention with these is, you know, I, I'm going to make copies of them and then I can use these in my journals as the journaling cards because they're nice and flat. And then I made with the straw paper because this is what I started doing with the straw paper. So then I made some other um, backgrounds, some cards that are kind of ready to go with that, using some of that straw paper and um, my back, some of my lace things, a bunch of stuff I've scanned and some book pages. So I've been, I did that. And then day before yesterday, I decided I wanted to do a collage journal. So I made a book out of the front cover of this um, DK book called How the Earth Works. And this is a really, really hard, thick cover. Um, so all I did was I, this, the front cover of the book is what I used to make the cover of this. And I was going to show you, all I did was I just determined, say, I took the cover, I, how long, I, or how tall I wanted it, which I think six and a half was what I was going for. So all I did was measure six and a half, say this way. So I cut this. I'm just going to mark it like that. Okay, so I cut the height. So I cut this off. So that gave me the height. And then I made a two inch spine. So I just started down at one end like this. Marked and cut my two inches off. So that was my spine. And then whatever was left, um, I divided in half and then cut that in half. So this was my spine. This is my, and then front and back. And then this is, was discarded or say, I'll save it for a spine for another book or something. So that's what I, how I made the cover. And my aunt had given me some fabric and I used a piece of it to make this. It's like a chenille, I don't know, like a damask, <clears throat> but it's made out of a chenille type of fabric. Anyway, I made it and then I started working on the inside and I was like, this cover is way too serious for what I was wanting. So I decided to put some paint on it. So I did just some painty dots on it. And then I had painted this little flower and uh, fabric tacked it on and put some uh, matte medium over it. And then the on the back, which I think I want to redo this. This is the only piece of this dyed seam binding that I have left had left but I think I want to do a piece that's brighter and I'll lace it through there um, through the laces so what this is is I just started doing collage you know kind of based on those collage cards that I was doing um, I just started doing some collages so this was actually the first page I did and then I went back and did this page. And I was going through my photos the other day and I actually took a selfie the other day because I was, I had blow dried my hair, or fixed my hair or something. Anyway, that's me. Hello, hello everyone. Hello everyone, I'm Melanie. So that's me. So then I made a title page. And on the 23rd, which I wanna cover this up. On the 23rd, I did almost this, I made the book and then did collages for this first signature. Um, and this is seven, seven sheets, so it's 28 pages. And they're just little assorted collages. So I did all those, made the book and did all those on, on one day. And then the next day I did this page forward, which was yesterday, so I did all of these. And for these, I was actually thinking about Robin Marie Smith, who is um, a, I was introduced to her through this Art to the Fifth project. That I think it was like 2016 or something. She and Ray Missigman and Sandy Keene. And I'll link to Robin Marie's um, website below. But um, this, is, this is totally totally inspired by 
Robin Marie. But I watched one of her videos and then I remembered some of the techniques that, um, that I had done years ago, you know, watching her stuff. This is actually from a workshop. These pieces, well, this may be Ray Missig Missigman. I can't remember. Anyway, um, so I made, I did a bunch of marker patterned pages. I just sat down with some book text and um, my Copics. A lot of this is Copic, Copic markers. Um, but I just made patterns on some book text. And then I can tear those up and use them in collage. Um, so it's just little, that one's painted, but just little marks and stuff that I've made. And then, um, then I was, after I did this, I watched uh, one of Robin Marie's videos and I remembered about using deli paper and um, painting and stuff on deli paper and then using that in collages. Like here's, here's this piece of deli paper that came off of here. So then I started doing these deli papers and for some of these I used my Montana markers. These are um, acrylic, acrylic paint markers. Um, they're fabulous. Absolutely love them. Anyway, so I did all of these. This is just 12 by 12 deli paper and I painted, I just, this, I just wrote out stuff and then I'll tear it up and use it. Same thing there. I think this page, I was listing the flowers that are in my front garden. Some squigglies. That's some copies of some old artwork. So there's quite a few of pages of, that's watercolor, and that's watercolor. It's acrylic paint, acrylic paint, acrylic, that's paint, that marker, Montana marker. These are Montana marker, um, and these are paint. So I made all of these to start tearing up and putting in my collages. And then I also carved a couple of stamps. Uh, I was watching a Ray Missigman video and she was using some, she had a stamp that looked uh, very similar to this. And I thought, oh, that's such, that's such a cool stamp. So I didn't have very much carving block left, but um, I carved this stamp and it does this thing with the three circles on it. And then you can cut it apart or whatever. And then she also had a stamp that looked kind of like this. So I carved this little heart stamp. And then the piece I had left over, I carved um, this one, which is... This um, just kind of column of... And then I've used some of my old stamps... Um, that I carved. This is made out of felt or foam core and um, craft foam. And then there's one I carved a long time ago. So anyway, my goodness, it's taken me 15 minutes to get to this point. So here's the little collage book that I made. Um, and I would love to say that I'm going to try to finish it today so I could do a signature per day, but I've got to go work on that, that cosplay costume. But it's just little collages. Um, some of them have a focal point, some of them don't. This one, you know, the butterfly. Mostly they have, I guess you can tell, I like working in um, Kind of monochromatic color schemes a lot or things like this. I love this one. I love the colors on this one. And then I sometimes when I had them, I would, if I saw an interesting text out of a book or something, this background here is actually some under paper from when I paint my painty paper. 
glued on there. And then this is um, from a printable that's in my Etsy downloads. So I made all of these while watching horrible Netflix movies. I've watched so many bad Netflix movies over the past two days. Hidden in Plain Sight, it was terrible. But it's one of those things, like once you start watching it, you're just kind of committed. So I kept watching it. This one I put some Tim Holtz people on. This was the first thing I put down, or that was the, this piece was that I tore out of a magazine. That was the inspiration for this page. This is completely, totally, 100% copied or inspired from Robin Marie. Because then, sometimes if I'll do something like that, like I try to emulate someone or use someone else's work for, for um, inspiration, then it just kind of enlightens the next thing I do, which is still me, but... Um, I don't know, it just is a way to kind of get going. So this is a copy of one of my vintage photos, antique photos, that's Ray. So, And then this, I, I found some old adding machine tape and made copies of some of those. That's what's in there. So it's, this is a combination of paint and the, um, marker text book text this is actually this is a stencil i got some of my this is actually a stencil um and i used this is the deli paper this is um a half pan for watercolor that i dipped in some dipped in some acrylic and then just stamped on that's out of a magazine um that one, this was the ins color inspiration for that page. This one, there was no inspiration, maybe. And actually, this is one of the last things I put on. And then these, I added some. This, I feel like it needs something right here, but I don't want it to compete too much with that. So that's where I got to. Then on this page, I put in a piece from a Longfellow poem. And I honestly, I don't like either of those because then I didn't continue doing that. There's no other journaling anywhere in here except for this. So I want to cover this up. So I thought maybe we could do that together real quick. I would cover this up and I want to cover this up um, because this is the kind of thing I'd rather put in my poetry journal. What about a piece of this? Okay. I like this better. What if I just... Cover it with that. And then, and then I'm just gonna, actually, I'm gonna put that upside down so it doesn't look like I want you to read it. I've been keeping tiny bits and pieces. I have one of these over here, so I could put one of these over it and then put one more thing up on, to, on top of that. There's that, another, no. I think I've got with this, I don't want anything to compete with this flower. I don't think I want that on there either. Okay, well. Maybe I'll just put some some more doodles on here. Now it needs it over here too. This is my least favorite page so far in this entire book. And that always happens to me. I always do something like that in the in the front of a book, like the first page or so. I do something that it turns out I end up not liking it at all. And then it frustrates me because then, you know, that's the first page in my book. I've already, like, ruined, ruined it somehow.
there's that. And then I wanted to cover up this. Um, I kind of like that in there. The other thing was I was working on or doing this collage between working on that outfit for my daughter and my table got so messy that I literally was working in a space like this big. Okay, there's that. And then you know what I think I'll put here? I'm gonna put some more gold over that because you almost just can't have too much gold. Okay, I like that a lot better. So you can see that there's something written back there, but it's no longer the focal point. It's no longer um, the focal point. Oh, maybe I'll do... Oops, I think my head just bumped the camera. Do a little um, neo color on here. Kind of help it. Kind of help it look like it's always been there, and not that I just added it as an afterthought. Oof, I need to change my paint water. It's tinted green at this point. Oh, I forgot this was still wet. So I covered those up. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna do this page, I think, and then I'm gonna go work on the outfit, and then I'll do this signature tomorrow or tonight if I get a whole lot done um, on the dress. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to catch up. Um, since I hadn't made a video in a while and I hope everyone's doing well. I appreciate all your kind comments and um, welcome to my new subscribers. Um, and once I get this outfit done that I need to do, once I get my sewing done, then I'll be back with another video. But uh, I hope everyone's doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.